Wait, turn the thing. They can't come in. Mona fast. Then they there now. Let them come first. Let them come. Where are they? And they need to be here. No, the Delta Hawks are crossing. They don't come. Mopo, when will they come? Delta Hawks, soldiers, they don't come. They don't come. They don't come. Delta Hawks don't come. No, the number base go see there now. Oh yeah, now go now. Make one day fast. This kind of thing have to be fast. Okay. You don't need to be slow, 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 fast, fast. They're not fear enter. Relax, just they do what you they do. They can't go in. The major thing is for us to go through that place. All right, so the Central Bank of Nigeria. Um, Naira designed policy bites harder on Nigerians. The new note scarcity continues to disrupt business activities in the market, restaurant, banks, and major sales outlets across Nigeria, as you can see. Now, Nigerians are outraged and citizens are starting to act out. So what do you think? Or, um, what do we make of you know, all the issues that is um, happening with the Naira note, especially as the elections are drawing closer. Most importantly, do you think it is okay for us to, you know, put our bankers in this position where they are having to, you know, escape the bank premises because of the fear of being lynched by angry Nigerians are unable to access cash? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. You can also tweet at us at WayshowAfrica1 with the hashtag Wayshow. All right, so, I mean, this conversation, right, is quite interesting because there are so many things that are in my head. I'm trying to find a way not to, like, talk, <laughs> you know, talk over myself because trying to say it. Now, some videos surfaced. I don't know if you guys saw those videos over the weekend where... Um, um, CBN officials had to go to bank vaults, right, to see um, stacks of the new Naira notes being hidden behind the old Naira notes in the vaults. Then there were also videos that surfaced of the automated teller machines where the new Naira notes were loaded into the automated teller machines, but it was still wrapped in a seal. So meaning that those new narrow notes, even if you put in your card, it cannot dispense that cash. It probably tell you, oh, error or something out of order or whatever, right? So then there is also the conspiracy that most of these narrow notes that, are, that I mean, we saw in the bank vaults, right? That bankers were saving those narrow notes because of the forthcoming elections. That all of this drama happening is because the elections are coming and we know in Nigeria, politics is majorly, majorly right, de um, um, what's it called, handled with cash, especially the political process. Bribery and all of that happens so that, you know, certain candidates will be able to win. So the, 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 the issue now with the bankers, why they are being attacked is the fact that, you know, they, they feel that these monies that are being hoarded in their vaults, you know, they are saving it for politicians. Then again, flip it back to last week when we were talking about the people spraying money at the banks, getting the money from these POS vendors. So we are, the question is, when CBN releases funds, CBN releases funds to the commercial banks, right? So how did it land in the hands of these POS vendors that are able to dispense cash at ridiculous, you know, charges, right? Somebody re withdrawing a millionaire and, and paying uh, 1.3 million. So for me, I, I don't know. Is it okay? that we truly say, okay, you know what, these bankers are to be blamed for this, or is there more to this that we are not even aware of? Let me hear your thoughts, ladies. Honestly, I, I wouldn't say it's okay to attack the bankers, but I would also say that I understand where the frustration and the annoyance is coming from, especially with the video that came out um, last weekend. So you see people who have been suffering all through last week. They are unable to feed. They are unable to do anything um, because they don't have enough cash. And then a video like that surfaces and it's like, oh, 
initially CBN had said they actually released funds to the banks. And then, but then the banks were saying, oh, they actually do not have this cash. But then a video is coming out and it's actually showing that these people have this money, but then they are not releasing it. It's like they're deliberately trying to frustrate people. So personally, I get where they are coming from. But to go to the extent of attacking the bankers, I'm, I'm not in support of violence. I would never stand for violence. That's one thing. But I think another thing is we need to find out who actually gave this directive. Do you understand? That the bankers should hurt this money. So we're either talking about the CEOs of these banks, the board of directors of these banks, who, who do not yeah, interface with the customers. With the customers. Who actually gave out that order? And that's what we need to find out. That's what we need to know. And I, I, it's, it's upsetting that CBN had to wait for this long to actually do something like to this. To uncover what Do you it understand? was that they uncovered. Because this problem has been going on since when this new Naira note was released. A lot of people have been complaining about it. Why did it take you this long to actually get to the root of the problem? Till now, they've not even told us what can be done about it i mean you just talked about um Barry was supposed to have a meeting and the meeting was cancelled and they still did not give any reason why that meeting was cancelled so at the end of the day even probably to the end of this week we still do not have a solution hmm. so that means we we're going to see a lot more bankers getting attacked i feel bad for them i'm sorry about that but people are actually frustrated and we need to find a way to solve this if not it's going to get i don't know into something else that we cannot even fathom. Mm. NJ? I'm not sure if the plan, like, you know, like I've always said, the thought process behind this whole, you know, new policy, the thought process, you don't think about the people, the end users. These people are frustrated. Just like Jennifer said, you can see the, um, the whole weekend there were videos of people going, you know, stripping all the way down to their you know, as they, their birthday off. suits. Yes, like, <laughs> and walking around and threatening people because you can't put a hold. You don't even know if it has gone beyond the physical into the mental. You don't know where, where someone is. You don't know someone's pain point. And you know, someone puts takes their hard end money. You uh, say people should bring their money to the banks and they will get the new notes. They bring their money to the bank and they can't even get the notes out. They can't do transfer. The whole system has been clogged up because it's obvious that we were not ready for this move. I know the reason that the government has given for wanting this move to go ahead, but definitely you did not think wholesomely about the, the people and how it affects them at the end of the day. This kind of thing is the outburst you will get for a situation like this. And, you know, when I think about it, I also say, okay, where is this heading to? Because with Nigerians and with politicians, there's always an end game. Mm. So for me, I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, I understand what the government is saying, but being a Nigerian and being in Nigeria for so long, I'm looking at this other part and I'm like, but there's something here. Because you can't make a decision like this and not carry along everyone. You have a purpose. Because if you wanted to do it for the benefit of everyone, you would give enough time to sensitize, or even if you're not telling us and you want to do it abruptly, you would at least make the necessary arrangements. Because mm. isn't there they, they could have had meetings with the banks and you know prepared everyone for what was about to happen. Mm. Now you see people, a lot of people frustrated. I saw a video in um, of First Bank in Abiokuta burning. Mm. Because people have gotten so frustrated. But at the end of the day, you're asking the people, when you burn the bank, how are you going to get your money? Mm. So, so do you think um, this is a plan to trigger unrest? Mary, let me come to you. Um, do you think it is a plan to trigger unrest? Because you are the one that was advocating for cashless, cashless, cashless. Now today, I did a couple of transfer. There's a particular bank. I had to call the people that come. Do you have a different bank account? Because this particular bank have been trying and it's not, it's not going, right? The, the transfers are not just not working. Um, so do you, do you think, you know, this particular thing that is going on now is, it, is just a plan to trigger unrest? Because again, that is one speculation that is going around. And we can see, right? Even though they are claiming that, no, that's not the plan and all of that. You can see that people are getting to the point of, it's, 
it, there's a lot of agitation. Now, we have to be extremely careful. But let me hear your thoughts, Mary, on this. And do you think, you know, we should, it's okay for us to blame the bankers for this, um, how, how, how this has degenerated to? Um, I think that it's unfair that they get the blame, but they, they would have to suffer for it because you're dealing with the masses. Not everybody is as educated or you know as calm as we are to say okay we don't have cash like these people are angry they are angry they're um my colleague entered one chance bus this morning and they beat her i've i've, I've not heard from her i've not seen her i just know that she she shagged herself to my head office and she was beaten and now that's because yeah because every the insecurity has increased and I'm beginning to think that, you know what, this might just be political um, propaganda, like because of the elections and stuff. It, that might not have been the intention from the beginning, but over time, maybe they've seen, okay, yeah, you know what, maybe we can get away with this mm -hmm. because there's money scarcity, there's no foil, you know, what else is remaining? People are burning places down. There's a protest in Abiyokuta. Someone was shot, stray bullets. You know, all of these things are happening. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure this was the exact plan of Emefili as CBN governor. So definitely this is, this is happening because of the elections. I'm very much sure that this is becoming a propaganda. It is very unfair that the bankers are going to take the heat. But... If people as if CBN is saying that they've released a certain amount to the bank, then why won't you put the money in circulation? So maybe they should be visiting the head offices, but because of how high the security is, they might not be able to, you know, do all of these mm. things there. Because that's where the people are sitting. Like you said, who gave the order? The same thing for answers. Who gave the order for the shooting? Mm. Nobody knows. But the people on ground are suffering for it. The poor staff who is a contract staff earning a hundred thousand is now climbing fence to go home or has to dress down so that when she comes out she doesn't look like a banker and people don't attack her even driving driving now to the studio people the people the people on the streets i'm scared driving because everybody looks angry i look like someone is just going to hit my car just for saying as in you even have car you and don't have fuel to drive do you understand and there's also the rumor of like what exactly are we doing? Maybe they should just bring the elections close. Let's have the elections and let's know what next we're doing in this country. Because everything is a mess. Mm. Everything is a mess. And it seems like it's a calculated mess. Hmm. That's what I think. Hmm. Hmm. You know, somebody had told me that. Because I want, I, I'm curious to know when CBN said they released these funds, right? I'm curious to know how much they truly released to these banks. Because mm -hmm. somebody had said that, see... The way the CBN thing works, me, I'm not in the finance de um, sector, but the way it works, for every money that leaves the CBN, right, it is tagged. Mm -hmm. Even they as a bank, they have no authority to move it to another branch. You understand? So if they brought it to Plus TV Africa branch, eh, you cannot move it to legally Ayorinde branch. You have to, it has to stay, the cash has to stay there because that is the, the law. It is illegal. You can be arrested. Do you understand? So, now, it's, it, it then keeps a lot of people wondering who is lying, who is saying the truth. Yeah, because, true. But, you see, now, the, where the, the bankers now, like, almost, like, shot themselves in the foot was these videos that now came up. You understand? Where, on the, uh, uh, in their vaults, you saw so many new Nara notes hidden behind the old Nara notes. So, me, so, that just made a lot of people say oh okay it means the, because if you notice it was after the after the videos that surfaced that we started seeing all these attacks on banks mm. you know it was after those videos of it because it's not eh, so people had this money because it was so painful to watch i told you people last week people were counting to 2020 naira you know 2020 naira 50 50 naira and it's not even the clean one very ugly looking 2020 naira. That was what, and it is, you couldn't even take beyond 2000 naira. So, if this, like you rightly said, that is a calculated mess, what to what end is it? Because now, if there's any uproar or if there's any unrest, it just destroys everything, it, it, it makes a mess of everything. 
because everybody right now as it is now i saw a, a, a letter i sent it to the group i was trying to confirm if it was true yeah. about suspension of you know fuel and all of that if that happens what what happens to all of us you know what let's take a break and when we come back from the break we want to continue the conversations on the attack then if you have any information about this banking situation please call us and let us know what you have to say we'll, we'll, we'll be right back All right, so thanks for staying with us. If you just tuned in, we're discussing this, our uh, narrow structured rule. And we're asking, is it okay that we attack our bankers? Um, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. Now, our phone line is now open. Um, the number to call is 0702500 That's the number to call. I mean, let's remember that these bank people are people's fathers, mothers, ch um, children, you know, aunties, uncles. They are human beings, right? Because you see all this jungle justice thing that we do. I, over the weekend, I watched um, the movie that um, Linda Keji released on the Alufo. Omo, I cried like, like I couldn't stop. I had a headache for two days after crying because the thing was just too painful to watch. So no matter how agitated you are, you do not have the right to take the laws in your hands, That's right? So for me, I think us attacking bankers we're only just going to make this thing worse because whoever it is that has put this plan and is looking at us like a chessboard moving the moving the moves and all of that we are just falling into their hands because yeah. again if we as a people do not learn the, the act of you know calm and patience right we will fall see because if there's any unrest now we all will suffer we will not even be discussing money money uh, nera shortage anymore sure you know so I'm just saying, it's, 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 it's a bit of, you know, it's troubling for me to, to, to just keep watching this video surface online. But I think we have our first caller for the evening. Austin from Benin, you're live. Thank you for calling. Yeah, good evening. Hi, good, good evening. evening to you all. Good, good evening. evening. The, the truth of the matter is that between the CBN and the bank, we don't know who is saying the truth and who is lying. But what thing we can debut CBN was not prepared for this. They were not prepared, and they, 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 they just now decided, because there is, and if you look at this whole thing, eh, there's a, some element of politics in it. Mm -hmm. Why now that we are preparing for election that you want to do uh, coloring of the Naira and what have you? And, and why must you put a deadline? When in other clients, it is not like that. I mean, we have had Naira, uh, uh, exchange in this country in the past. It was not like this. It took some time. So why this deadline? The man was insisting, he was in, okay, today now in Benin, uh, the governor had a meeting with the CBN people and they said they were bringing in, or uh, they brought in one billion or something, and the deadline was supposed to be on the, so if it's now that you're just bringing in new money and you wanted the deadline to be 31st of, uh, of uh, January, it means you were not prepared. So a mercenary has to be blamed for all this. Is the one that has put us in this mess. And Nigerians must not forgive him for this. Oh, thank you, Austin. You know, let, let, let me say that it's not only CBN that, that wasn't prepared. Even the banks were not prepared for this, right? CBN did not emphasize it. See, let me tell you something. This thing would have been very easy. Let me tell you how I think it should have gone. CBN releases the funds, right? The plan is they don't want us to be bribed with money abi what worst case scenario you say 100k limit for individuals daily and 500k limit for um, what's it called corporate organizations daily at least the cash there's no way the amount of cash they would have used you understand they would have they, they, they will be able to withdraw it you understand for the before the elections they will not have been able to withdraw all that money you understand but at least put a limit to say, okay, 100K for individuals or even 50K for individuals and maybe 300K for corporate organizations. So whatever it is, do the remaining transactions online. There will not be all of this drama. But that you don't even give people, people that want to collect 5,000 Naira. Do you understand? They don't have money. Does it even make sense to you? But I, I think we're missing something. And this is it. We talk as if these powerful people will still not have access to this cash. 
that, that they is are what they I am believed. This there. is what I am being told that a lot of big men that bankers used to come and bring money to their offices, even they don't have the money. I don't believe it. Okay. And I don't think it's true. Because Nigeria is a bribery and corruption immersed country. It, bribery and corruption is like our bread and butter. So if these powerful people want to have access to cash, they will have access to cash. So you don't believe I should I don't in believe, any case? Nope. Okay. I believe once you bribe the right person, you will get the money. Hmm. They will give you cash. How did the people? EPOS, the you know, EPOS if you can, can get yeah, that yeah. cash, if they can get it, you played a video of people at a wedding. They've arrested with her now. bulk money, <laughs> with <laughs> bulk money. And guess Let what? This over. is the one you're talking about. Mm. I saw another one like um, last weekend, a different wedding, and I saw women with stack of cash. Stack wow. of cash. What are we Ulama saying? from Abia State, you're alive. Oh, good evening. She's talking now. Good evening. Yeah. See, this question that you are asking, first and foremost, I want to tell the ruling class, the people that initiated this policy, they want to stop our people so that when the time comes, people will now be collecting money from politicians mm. to vote against their conscience. This is the reason why we have a higher shortage. This vote value, this is another system of vote value. Now, with the question, it is, it is okay to attack bankers. Yes, it is very, very okay. Okay, look at the one that, the one that packs money in ATM, millions mm. in ATM without dispensing it. Mm. Okay, when you come here in Umayi, I hear, in Umayi, in Asia, say, some of the banks there will tell you, there is no money. There's no money. The way we will talk to you, the money you uh, strike hard to deposit in the bank, they will now be using more as if it is no longer your money. Hmm. That's very sad. Very it's actually very upsetting. It is. It is upsetting because we still deal heavily with cash. Jennifer, you want to say something? I'll come to you, Mary. Yeah. I, I mean, you, you said, oh, um, so it's Fashola lying. I mean, let's look at the NSAS protest after the NSAS protest. He was doing FBI work. I don't, I don't believe anything these people say. I'm sorry. I don't believe it. Because you can't tell me. In, in, in time past, we've seen that you have access. I mean, the other day, they had told us, oh, Bullion Van made a mistake and entered one certain mm. person's compound. How? How did a whole Bullion Van miss its way? In this same I'm Nigeria, to God, I've sent them my address. There's a mistake. Let them miss and enter our houses too. <laughs> because what are we? What are we saying? Mm. The truth is, we need to ask what is the end game. And I, I, I believe as time goes by, these things will unfold. And I really hope that it is not so bad. But do you agree with Oloma saying that he he thinks that this is a a way of actually enhancing en enhancing vote buy? So take take for instance. Mm. For a long time, I am out of cash. And somebody just comes and one goes uh, 5K in front of me. Somebody that I've been struggling, I will jump at yes. it. Yes. So do you believe, do and you they'll, agree they'll with they'll him? I agree. I agree. I honestly agree. Anything. Mm. I Anything think so. Possible. Because and the thing, we have a lot of loopholes in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That's the major issue. Mm. And once there's a loophole, like this whole thing, this bank POS transaction kind of business, once there's a loophole, there are always... A nice population of people who are willing to exploit that mm. loophole. Yeah, people just take advantage of the situation, and that is what is happening. Mm. Let me take. I think we have a caller. Somebody still on the line. Hello. Mm. Hello. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I was still on the line. I don't oh, know who the one that put me on. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. What I was, what I'm saying is that if, I don't know if uh, uh, this, uh, our only no man is the worst. The way the bankers are dealing with us, and they will even give you five naira, ten naira, two thousand. So what type of system is this? Mm. So with the question you have just asked, it is okay by me to attack the EPS, the bankers, so that they will know that people are hungry. This is because we are unable to pay our... But, Oloma, if you go and attack... 
If you go and attack so, this... I'm okay. using this opportunity to tell our president, or the president, let him give bank money and tell us the amount that is in the bank and let them make sure that this bank starts paying so that people will not go into the streets. Thank you, Oloma. So the thing is, even I didn't know that banks still had 20, 20 naira, 50, 50 naira. Even in their, five naira. In Just their vault. Sure yes, yes, in their vault. Yes. I can't well, remember the last time I saw that. In their vault. You know, I didn't even know they had all those denominations in their vault until this thing happened. And it was not like I was told. It was in front of me. The banker was telling the two girls, okay, it's 3,000 each. I'm going to give you a 50, 50 naira. They looked at each other. You know, this is somebody, that, you know, 3,000 naira each and 50, 50 naira notes. I mean, I don't know what 15 naira can do to you, even to pump my tire. Yes, the the time I went to Kaduna and I wanted to pump my, my mom's tire and she said, oh, that it was 15 naira, I looked at her in shock. Another thing again, you know, there's a Lagos thing and there's other parts of oh, yeah. the Nigeria. Because again, I mean, we might be complaining here. Some people are excited collecting the 2020 20 naira. I still see people sparing 10, 10 naira, 5, 5 naira, 20, 20 naira in parties up north. So the money is still maybe much valuable to them. Mm. But, you know, it's just a different, you know, um, scenario here. But I think we have Steve from Lokoja. You're there. You're live. <coughs> ah, Hello? clear throat. Yes. <laughs> you're live. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. I, I, well, I bet to move far from the last speaker. Mm. Um, I'm talking about uh, attacking uh, the But rather, the state security vehicles and other security agencies should monitor the bank, each of the banks very well. Mm -hmm. Any one of the banks found culpable, the manager and the accountant who have refused to give out this money to their customers should be, be held responsible and be punished because they supervise. This money don't get to uh, the, the cashier at the counter without them. So the managers and accountants of such banks who wait for politicians or those who will trade party and they give them this money and to collect their commission or percentage or whatever. The managers rather should be arrested, not the ordinary contact. Thank you. Thank you. But but you see, I, I like what you're saying and, and that's why I was saying to you you don't attack people because I, the question I was gonna to pose to him was if you then attack, what do you think the ripple effect will be? Yeah, do you, you understand? You're just going to have bunt of bank Do you understand? And it will just chaos. become another jungle justice, right? Yeah. The, the, I hear that some bankers are being picked up by the um, security operatives. I hear that, you know, some have been arrested, some have been picked up. You know, anybody that is linked to anything, they are being picked up. I mean, the lady that we saw in the video last week, or was it two weeks ago, spraying money, she was also picked up by the, EFC, uh, the security operatives. I don't know which is what now, whether it was EFCC or DSS, but there was a picture that of her that she had been arrested, right? So, I mean, if we start to arrest people, do you get? I, I mean, we'll we would solve that problem of hoarding. Mm. But the problem now of dispensing is my is the challenge yeah, i have just push the money out can we just say okay you know what for individuals you are entitled to a daily limit of maybe 20k or a daily limit of 50k then for corporate maybe a daily limit of 100k or something because if i am sure that at least every day i can get 20k from an atm if i go and withdraw money i will be ready so it is the panic that has also caused this i am um, flooding of banks if i'm sure that I, how much do they have in the account these people that are, that are queuing for hours, how much do they really have in their accounts? Some of them barely have enough, you know. They're just managing their savings. So at least if we give them access to 5K or 10K per day, and they are sure that there's money everywhere they can withdraw, but maybe there's a way you put a system that locks the card, that after that withdrawal, you're done for the day. People would adjust, right? If you're trying to control the amount of cash in the system, people would adjust. Mm -hmm. But not to give people any money at all. You are just creating disaster. That's what we're saying, that this thing is a racket. When people are doing racket, they don't care for everybody. They just care about what they, you know, what they stand to gain. 
Mm. So we've been saying that the, this is a racket. We, there's something, that's why everybody's thinking twice, because there's something behind the motive. There are different motives behind mm. this. There's the political one. There's the money-making one, which is in between the bank, mm -hmm. that transaction between the banks and the POS and CBN, that we don't know who's giving whom money and how this money is getting to the POS people and why they have the authority to charge as much as they're charging because they're the only ones that have uh, access to the cash. How is it that, you know, uh, governor of Lagos State can claim that he doesn't have cash, but uh, a member of a, a party can be one of the first people to actually touch this cash on live video. So there's a lot happening. And as much as we don't like to say a lot, we know that a lot is happening. We're so, going through a lot. <laughs> yeah, so we can't continue to pretend like nothing is happening. A lot is happening. Mm -hmm. We are just, because we're lacking information and because they're hoarding information from us, is the reason why we're having to think about and reason out what we mm -hmm. think is going on. Let's take comments, please. We have so many comments. Let's take comments. I think the worst part is over the weekend or towards the end of last week, a lot of people were complaining that their bank apps weren't Where are uh, working. Was coming there. Yeah. It wasn't working. Was so what am I supposed to do? My friend said she went to the market um, yesterday. She was only able to buy one item and that was the only person who was willing to accept transfer from her. The rest, all the vendors all said no to transfer that they wanted cash. All of them said they wanted cash, that they don't want to do transfer. So when she told me, I was like, but there's no cash now. She said that, that she left the market and went back home. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that That's situation too. Wow. So I have a comment here from Austin from Delta State. He said that some CBN monitoring team were filming the cash, or that some CBN monitoring team were filming the cash stocks in the vault is uncalled for because of security reasons. I agree. If not playing to the gallery, what they needed to do is to promptly take such offenders away and hand them over to security agents for quizzing, where they may be confessing collaboration with politicians as a conspiracy theory suggests. Again, those attacking the banks and officials are taking risks. Did you hear from the fleeing officials if hawks have arrived? Delta Hawks is a security striking force comprising army, police, and other security forces. What if the rampaging mob attacked as armed robbers going to cut money away from the vaults and senselessly open them fire on them? The CBN governor and the politicians are merely pulling wools over our faces. There is something they are not telling us, but attacking banks is a risky venture. Go ahead. Redesigning is normal, but naira shortages are evil and devilish. Politicians know what they are doing. The best way to protest is visiting politicians' compound for protest, but not to harm them. On parties who stand against day shifting should think twice. I have greetings, ladies. What if the grand plan and strategy for the cashless claim is to truly apply the story of Stalin in Russia? Stalin once ripped all the feathers of a live chicken as a lesson to his followers. It says... He then set the chicken on the ground a short distance away. The chicken was bloodied and suffering immensely. Yet, when Stalin began to toss some bits of wheat towards the chicken, it followed him around. By the time the people are adequately starved before the election, mm. vote buying becomes easy for the politicians, my thought. That's from Benson. And we have another... Um, comment saying, uh, good evening, my beautiful sisters of way. What are you saying, ways? Naira shortage, is it okay to attack uh, bankers? We can only lay our complaints verbally, but I will go with my beautiful sister, Jenny. I'm not in support of violence, and I never will be. I really cannot wait for February 25th to vote out these people that have injured this country badly. They don't deserve to stay longer. I would ask God to forgive me for voting this government into power. I never knew it would be this bad. This was not the change that they promised us. They deceived us totally. Maybe I will go with my dear sister Mary. I think it is a calculated mess. This is from Daniel Elo, our 
Wayne's regular fan. All right, let me take one more. Obi has shares in Fidelity. Atiku has shares in one of the banks. The two of the two of them are saying CBN should not extend this policy. Only one presidential candidate is with the masses. If Nigerians know the amount of money the banks have made on transfer charges, uh, people will go crazy. <laughs> Let's take your comments. That's go ahead. Nigerian. Tell you. Nigerians are really suffering at the moment and the banking industries are in shambles. The ordinary Nigerians are just helpless and CBN should stop blaming the banks but to tell Nigerians the truth. This is the worst CBN governor in the history of this country. I am sure even community bank manager cannot be behaving the way Nigeria Apex Bank governor is handling the human disaster going on. This mm. is Raphael from Zaria. So I have a comment here that says... It is really unfortunate that we are now, as a country, a banana republic. We saw what is happening now in the financial sector some years back in the political life of this nation with this APC when our president was nowhere to be found to address our nation with many issues bedeviling the nation and we all kept quiet because we all seem to believe did them um, we all seem to believe they did not affect us with their actions in terms of our money but now they know the only way they can control us all i'm um, sorry but now they know the only way they can control us all is by controlling our individual financial power and strength in fact, the whole thing is geared towards political and financial control of our lives. We should expect more attacks. This is from Sanctus. Hmm. I promised myself I was not going to shout today. <laughs> because even myself, I'm tired. But I just want to appeal to Nigerians. If you're listening, you, please, you. this is not the time to instigate violence in any shape or form. Because the truth is, you do not know where it can escalate to. Yeah. I mean, answers there was an agitation but again people would always in the midst of all of those things it was genuine but you would have evil elements also planting you know um what's it called their togs in the mix of all of this at the end of the day we will not know who is the tog and who is the real person we don't want loss of lives the bankers are our family members right they are just doing their job so attacking them, you know, it's not the way forward. We have to find more creative ways, you know, to air our grievances or find solutions to whatever challenges that we have. But attacking bankers is a no-no. And please, if we can by any means, talk to the next neighbor, talk to anybody. Let's just keep talking to ourselves so we don't lose any life because we are angry and upset. That's um, my appeal. I didn't come to, to, to this. I just came to beg people that please, they are not the problem. There is a deeper problem that we need to uncover. But these people are not the problem. They are just, what's it called? Uh, when they say unfortunate. Their hands and their hands. Uh, well, <laughs> they are just, of, they, there's a word they use. You know, these ones are just, you know, you are caught in the line of battle. Yeah, so yeah. they are just, like, they are not your, yeah, they are not, yes, they are not. Thank you so much, NJ. Thank you, Jennifer and Mary. All right, so before we go, follow us across all our social media handles. So at Way Show Africa, you can interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, this is a very scary quote that was quoted from um, a police personnel. It says, what you have note is that available intelligence reveals that certain unscrupulous elements have perfected plans to hijack. This process he is referring to is electoral process, escalating the situation into full-scale chaos by shutting down and attacking places of interest, which includes, but not limited to, INEC facilities, banks, media houses, schools, correctional centers, and other critical infrastructure, uh, inclusive of looting major malls and business centers within the state. I mean, this was from the spokesperson of the police uh, command. Now, the truth is, it's gonna keep moving. We are the faces that they see on TV every day. You understand? So these attacks, it's going to be like that. So if we can by any means, let's start to talk to ourselves. I believe if we talk to ourselves, we'll be able to keep it, you know, okay. nipped in the board. Thank you again, ladies. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.